Hey guys, this is Nick with Geeks with Cash, and this is a review of the Jack Skeleton Nintendroid figure. I am an unabashed fan of this movie and have been since I saw it in the theaters way back in the day. I saw this one come up online and absolutely had to order it, had to have it in my collection. Love these figures, adore this movie. When I got it in my hands and started looking at the box, I knew I had to do a review of it and show it to you guys, because this thing looks amazing. The whole box on the front of it looks like an homage to the movie on it with Jack in front of a moon looking like he's posed about ready to break out into song. Inside the box you're looking at Zero, his faithful and loyal ghost dog companion. You have a present there for what looks like him being able to dress up as actual Santa Claus even, and he even comes with a Santa Claus hat. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and open this sucker up, we're going to take a look at it, and we're going to see what kind of pose, cool poses it can have. So hang with us guys, it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get into this one. Um, kind of did a little bit of a retake because I kind of made a few mistakes on it here. So not everything's completely packaged the way it is exactly out of the box on it, but we're going to do what we can here, okay? So we're going to go and open this one up again. So I already got rid of some of the tape before I ever started filming, just to make sure that this would go a little easier for me. And uh, I'm going to be really careful now because not all this stuff is taped to the back like it was before. There we go, okay. There he is, just in plastic. You can see you got Jack, you got like a little pumpkin here, you got Zero right here, uh, you got a little present right here, you've got his uh, Santa cap right here, you've got two uh, bendable arms here for like one of his rawr poses. Uh, you got two little hands here. Um, let's go ahead and open, get this stuff out from the back here and uh, move that off to the side. I'll show you that in a minute and get this stuff out. I'll show you two as I pull it out, okay? Work with me. Yay! Okay, all right. So, I'm gonna pull out the little center cap, which you can see here. You can get a good look at it. There we go. Yeah. So you've got the little ball in the back and everything. That is gonna be super neat. I don't think it moves up or anything. It's got this weird seam. I don't know what that seam's for. You can kind of see it there. I don't know what that's for yet. Um, doesn't look like it moves up or anything, um, so I'm a little confused, but we'll, we'll, maybe we'll find out. I don't know. I'll put that there. Got like a little present here. Oh, that is cute. It's even got like a little peg thing here in the bottom, which you can't see very well on the camera. But, oh, nope, there it is. Yay. See? Right there. Oh, I know what that's for. Okay, okay. I got an idea for that one. Here's Zero. He's a faithful little dog. And it looks like it's zooming in on it close enough that you can just about see the details on his little uh, pumpkin nose there. It looks like it's actually a car jack o' lantern as his actual nose. So they went to the they went to all the detail to actually make that look good. That's fantastic. Take these out. He's got two little hands in here. We're trying to get out of here. Give me a minute. Rawr. Work with me. Ha! Ah, here we go. Victory. <laughs> There's one little hand here. Uh, which does not want to focus because I think it's a little too bright But you can see here. It's got a little peg right here, and I think that's for like the little present thing here <laughs> Yeah, he can hold a present sweet Put that down He's got another little hand here It's got a little claw looking thing. Yeah, that's gonna be neat We've got the uh, From here pumpkin so much tape. Little pumpkin Right there, if I can get my finger out from it, a little jack-o'-lantern, which also has a little hole in it, right there. Right there. So, <laughs> he can hold a pumpkin. He can turn around like if he wants to hold it like out like that. Like that. Oh, that's going to be neat. I'm going to put that down. Pull out the main man himself. Come here, Jack. Come here. Come here. Here's Jack. It looks super good. Something I didn't notice until I was playing with him before. Oh, he's got articulation on the arms. That's that for you guys that don't have any of these or haven't had very many of these. Uh, it's really, really unusual. Normally the arms aren't long enough. They just sort of peg in and they're in like one direction. They don't normally have a lot of articulation to where you can bend them a lot. A lot of times they'll give you a different arm for that kind of thing uh, rather than letting you bend these arms. But these are long enough that it actually got a couple of joints themselves, which is really, really neat this down oh no oh no oh, oh my goodness oh my goodness hang on i 
went and threw away like his two little bendable arms. He's got two little arms that like bend right here. Oh my goodness, I almost threw those away. Oh, oh, that was bad. That was not good at all. Here's the uh, little stand. Every single Nintendo comes with these because they have itty bitty teeny tiny feet like that and they don't stand very well. So they always give you one of these. Here is two little faces. You have angry face. It's super angry. And then you have the, oh my God, I'm so surprised kind of face. That one looks cool too. Look forward to that one. And then in here you have his little beard for when he's playing Santa. That's gonna be neat. I'm looking forward to trying that out. And then you have uh, the stand for Jack himself. This normally plugs in like in the bottom here and then that goes into the back of the figure. Uh, the figures themselves, you can see the little post right there. So they always like plug in like right there. Come on, Jack, work with me, boy, like that. And then you can peg them in anywhere in the stand because all these holes are essentially the same. So you can take this and put it anywhere in here. So like, like that. Get that up. There we go. See? Like that. Ta da! And then you got like a little stand here. Itty bitty little stand, which I think, because he's so wide and he has so many dynamic poses, you can actually stick that in there like that. And then you've got this right here that you can take zero. Work with me, Zero. Don't be a problem, child. Come on. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh, Zero. Oh my goodness, oh, 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 oh goodness. Oh, that was, tra that was almost tragic. Come on, Zero. Come on, boy. Come on, come on, come on. Get on the post, come on, come on, boy. Oh, he's such a good puppy. Oh, he's such a good puppy, there we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh gonna leave like that maybe like that yay such a good puppy okay so what we're gonna do is uh we're gonna go ahead and get him some more poses here and um just kind of pose him up take a look at him let you guys see him as he kind of rotates around because i got like a little display that i can put him on that'll let him kind of like spin around so you can get a good look at the whole figure and how it looks on the stand everything like that with a uh, spot right next to him and everything like that it's gonna be super cool guys hang tight